More big news uh, this week on Water Wednesdays. We continue to give you the details about the full rollout of the US $3.5 million renewable energy project, which will allow for the installation of photovoltaic systems at two major BWA facilities, those being the Bowmanston Pumping Station and the Bridgetown Sewage Treatment Plant. Now, the project engineer Nathan Hart explains that the move to introduce PV at Bowmanston is critical to better serve the 20,000 or so residents, schools and businesses in rural Barbados connected to this system. The UAE BWA project goals is to establish a 500 kilowatt ground mounted system at the Bowmanston pumping station. This project will reduce energy consumption of the station by at least 20% and it result in a yearly saving of reduction of operational costs, not necessarily making money, but reducing operational costs by at least $500,000, while improving the efficiency of the operation to our customers. We are bent, and, and, and yes, we know that sometimes we have dropped the ball, but the BWA, with its new management, with the input of our minister, with the drive of our chairman, the, um, the advent of our new general manager, are moving towards efficiency in our operation to satisfy our customers, and we will get there. We will also incorporate in these projects, ladies and gentlemen, a design for battery storage, thereby increasing the further energy reduction by 40%, and as mentioned, if the grid is done, we will still be able to pump water to our citizens. Improved cost savings by battery operation can have an operational reduction of at least $800,000. The ability to deliver water to our residents, even if the utility grid is rendered inoperable. Bomiston Station, ladies and gentlemen, plays a critical role in the rural part of the country. It serves at least 20,000 residents. Bomiston feeds Golden Ridge Station, which feeds another area of our parish in St. George. Bomiston feeds schools, secondary schools, much of one of which I went to the large school. It feeds clinics and also private and public. So the station really plays a critical role. Meanwhile, we hear there's a slightly different but innovative approach for the installation of PV at the Bridgetown Sewage Treatment Plant. The UAE goal with the Barbados Water Authority, second one, is to establish a solar car park, 500 kilowatts, at the Lake Folly site. And we are looking forward. This will, this will transform the, the, the whole dynamics of what you see in the city. Currently in the island, there are about 180 EV vehicles towards greener technologies and moving the Barbados towards greener technology. The benefits of the solar car port are twofold. The energy harvested will be used to reduce the operational costs at the Bridgetown sewage treatment plant. The reduction in operational costs by at least $400,000 to $500,000. And we want the ability to generate revenue, it wouldn't be free, via paid parking. This adds to the Barbados Tourism Investment Package because it is in the heart of Bridgetown. And one of the things that we are moving towards also is that the Kensington Oval, as you will know, that's an international sports arena for cricket, which we are so good in the Caribbean. Parking is an issue. We and, and ourselves, when we visited this site, we looked at partnering with the Kensington Oval that when there are major international events, ladies and gentlemen, at least a minimum, there will be more, a minimum of 200 cars at a 35,000 square feet area will be able to park, paid parking, secured parking there at the site and generate revenue and also work in terms of dealing with the, the, the city upgrade. Each renewable energy PV project brings the government of Barbados go closer towards 65% renewables by 2030. 2030, that's just about 12 years away. The BWA announcing in a major way its role in reducing its costs while providing a better service to you, its customers. Again, thank you for watching Water Wednesdays as the BWA rolls out its latest project. To view this or our previous episode again, please visit the BWA's website, www.barbadiswaterauthority.com or you can go to YouTube and type in Water Wednesdays.